fact that we've seen volatility not only in equities but in the bond market and fixed income more broadly as of late. What's that meant for business? Well, yeah, this is uh, it's great to be back. Uh, th this has really been an extraordinary year for TradeWeb, a real uh, transformative year. And I think you know, much of it is, uh, is due to the acceleration of electronic trading. At the same time, as you point out, um, we have an uncertain environment uh, in the rates market uh, with the tapering and interest rate rising, uh, which has been a material impact for our business. As you see, we just had our November numbers out. Um, our business has, has surged uh, in November. November was actually our second biggest volume month, October being the first. But we're now trading, uh, you know, about a, a trillion two a day uh, in volume, which, just to give people some context, is actually one and a half time the entire equity markets combined. So uh, we are seeing uh, terrific growth in our business. That is some context right there. I, I want to dig into that a little bit more. But first, um, just the fact that there are really no shortage of macro factors that are playing into this volatility dynamic that we're talking about. What would you attribute that to? And how would you expect that to, to play out on your platform going into 2022? Yeah, I think I think it's really two things. One is, uh, you know, the, the, the pandemic situation, the remote trading activity, uh, the move to home 18 months ago really has accelerated electronic trading. That is a secular change that has occurred very rapidly over this time period. Um, and you can see that in our numbers. You can see that in the growth of the market, uh, you know. And then next to that, you have really what's happening in the race space, as you guys have been pointing out. Um, with respect to tapering and really uncertainty with respect to where interest rates are going to be uh, in the next few years. Uh, that has accelerated trading. Our treasury volumes are up significantly. Our interest rate swap volumes are up. Uh, the month of November year on year was up over 75 percent. Treasury's up over 40 percent. And, and these days, TradeWeb is now the largest platform for trading treasuries electronically in the world. So these numbers are, are you know, a good reflection of what's happening in the markets. Yeah, Lee, obviously the long-term uh, trend toward electronification, very clear, been going on for a long time, seems to have accelerated. I do wonder if we do get more dislocations in markets, if the credit markets themselves don't trade as smoothly as they have been, would you expect that on a relative basis, the higher touch uh, kinds of uh, trading venues are going to do better? In other words, you know, the traditional uh, phone-based or, uh, or broker-based uh, type methods? Well, you know, it, it's tough to predict the future, but I can say based on experience and really this, this trend, Carl, that you're pointing out that has occurred is there's much more comfort and many more people uh, interacting electronically. And, and I think that that will, um, will help in times of stress. There will be times of stress. That's, that's, that's how markets work, and there will be periods where um, there will be rapid movements and, and less liquidity. Um, the advantages today are there's more transparency, there's more connectivity, and there's actually more participants uh, providing markets. So um, we are set up for that event, but it, it's hard to predict exactly what's going to happen, um, you know, specifically. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.